Hey, it's Crammy from i98FM, and today I'm here at the fairly newish Steamers Bar and Grill at City Beach. Now, today we're going to sit down and enjoy a meal with executive chef Paul Hamilton. We're going to talk to him about his focus on fresh produce and, most importantly, get a taste of the delicious food. All right, well, the food has arrived. Paul, can you run us through just some of the samples that you've provided for us today? Absolutely, Crammy. I mean, here, this is our wood-fired uh, calamari with um, aioli and a chilli jam. We marinate it in um, chilli and garlic. We've got our king local prawns, which are wood-fired again with uh, garlic and um, paprika chips. One of my favourites over there is the cracked pepper angel hair pasta with blue swimmer crab and finished with wood-fired scampi. Yes. And then we've got... Uh, Ocean trout with angelia pasta again, soft shell crab which is done crispy with asparagus and a uh, preserved lemon salsa, and then the overall favourite, oh. the OB organic aged 28 days which we do ourselves, um, Scotch filling. Which one would you like to start with first? Definitely the calamari. The calamari? Yeah. Would you like me to serve you or you serve no, me? No, I'll serve you if okay. you let me. You actually source all a lot of your food that you use here locally from Jamboree? Yes, from Jamboree. We have the farm out there, which we um, uh, we grow a lot of our produce ourselves. So, you know, the, the chilli flowers, the asparagus, the tomatoes, the cucumber, the potatoes, everything, as much as we possibly can, we grow there. Okay. The boys out there do a fantastic job of just supplying me every week with amounts of produce. That is incredibly tender. It's very tender. I did not know how you do it. Because there's so many times I cook calamari and it doesn't end up like that. It ends up rubbery. What's the secret? Come on, tell me. I can't tell you. It's a no, secret. No, come on, Paul. No, seriously, it's a secret. Okay. So give me one. Give me one. Milk. Milk. Milk and lime juice. So we're going to try the prawns next. This is one of my favourite favourites. So these are the uh, garlic fries, which are grown on the farm. The potatoes are. Okay. But Let's please try, try this. Oh, that's amazing as well. Yeah. Together, the garlic makes it really more, so you know, the, yeah. having a beer with it is the most perfect thing. It's funny you should say beer. Yeah. Oh, there we go, hello. <laughs> Magic happens. Sir. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it, it's fantastic, you know, especially on a Saturday, Sunday, beautiful hot day. You just play to these and you just uh, pick away at them and, you know, use that's your right. fingers and get involved. I actually don't know what looks better, the food on the table or the, the view that we've got here at Steamers. Oh, it's, it's sensational. It is, right. And I think it adds to the uh, experience, of course, of eating, right? Absolutely. And so there's some crab in here you mentioned before? Yes, blue swimmer crab, chilli, garlic, olive oil, and you get to have the piece of scampi as well. I'm assuming a lot of the seafood comes from right yeah, out here? Yeah, absolutely right, right here out here the the boy, The boys over there in the trawlers, mm -hmm. um, I get as much as I possibly can from them um, so that, uh, you know, we keep it as fresh and local as possible. Mm -hmm. And that's something that, you know, we pride ourselves that, you know, we're, we're sea to plate, mm -hmm. paddock to plate, farm to plate, hens to plate, everything, yeah. I only just hit that prawn in that dish and it just melted in my mouth, yeah. like disappeared. It's literally touched my teeth and just disappeared. I don't know what you did to that prawn, but it's just, it's it's all about the wood firing and how, okay. how it's cooked. It, you, you know, when you when you when you cook uh, seafood, you know, when it hits a high heat, it gets as tight as it possibly can. Mm -hmm. Now, this the heat on the uh, the wood uh, fire is just so intense it sort of reverses that a little bit as well so you, you, you even though it's such an intense heat it keeps it succulent at the it, same time because it, it's past that heat. yeah that's right it sort of um cr puts a crust on, yeah. on it and keeps all the moisture yeah, it keeps within the moisture in so you don't lose it and it, it's just a fantastic you know the seafood's so fresh cooking on it it's just oh that as well been sitting here waiting for this delicious steak. I've been staring at it. It's been looking at me back. I think there's like a love connection between me and this steak at the moment. So uh, without any further ado, Paul, can you please serve up what looks to be an amazing scotch fillet, is it? Yes, it is. It'd be my pleasure to. Oh, yeah. Don't be, sc don't be scared of the fat in a scotch fillet either. That's where all the flavour comes from in the scotch fillet. And it melts and that's what yep. gives it that flavour. Yeah. Now we've got a choice of bits and pieces to go with it. We've got a pearl onion jus. Ooh. And we've got horseradish cream and chimichurri. Well, and then, I'm of course, you know, the lovely fries. The beer battered fries, of yes. course, you've got to have them. And uh, we put parsley shavings with it as well. Now, this is aged steak you mentioned earlier? Yep, aged for 28 days. Um, it's uh, dry aged. We do that ourselves. It uh, comes, comes to us in whole pieces and we butcher it ourselves. 
that we dry age it for 28 days first. And it's just so flavoursome. It is, well, everything's been delicious. Yeah, thank you very much. It has been amazing. Every plate's been sort of perfectly balanced. Yeah. Great mixture of flavours, textures. This steak's incredible. I'm going to be back for this steak, let me tell you. Fantastic, thank you. Now, I probably should, should mention that we've been enjoying what is your lunch and uh, dinner menu. Yes. But you guys also do breakfast here at Steamers as well. Yeah, we do do breakfast. Uh, we're open to Friday, Saturday and Sundays at the moment. And um, it is the funkiest uh, breakfast menu in town. Um, you know, what, quinoa porridge, acai bowls. Um, and then we, you know, we have uh, wild pork sausages. I saw some buckwheat pancakes there as well. They are pretty funky indeed, with cashew cream. Oh yeah. And so yeah, so yeah, we do some funky stuff. All right, I'm yeah. definitely going to be uh, maybe here for lunch, dinner, and then the breakfast tomorrow. Maybe. <laughs> Fantastic. You're going to sleep in the back. Mm. <laughs> Well, um, Paul, I just got to say thank you so much for having us down here in what is just an incredible, incredible new venture in what I believe is the most amazing outlook here in Wollongong, that is Steamers. Uh, open for breakfast on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yes. And lunch and dinner seven days? Seven days. All right. Until come, come down and try the menu. This was just a sample of what is an incredible menu. And as you saw, the food is just an amazing combination of food, uh, sorry, flavours, textures. Uh, yeah, so Paul, thanks so much. No, Cremmy, thanks for coming down, man. It's my pleasure to have you. I'm going to stick around and probably finish off that Scotch oh, I fillet. I certainly hope And you. probably go for another beer, I reckon. We'll make sure that happens. Come and check it out. Steamers down at City Beach. In the Loop Wollongong is possible because of the support of our awesome partners, including our media partner, i98FM. We love that breakfast banner. Our made possible by partners. Wollongong Central, discover the city. The University of Wollongong stands for purpose. Advantage Wollongong, a superior business location. Destination Wollongong, congrats on getting Wigan Warriors to come out to play. Access Law Group, resolution is our solution. Kazen Business and Financial. Lancaster Law and Mediation. Illawarra Mercury. Internet Tricks. Relativity, do you know that they do live streaming? They do. They do. <laughs> and our promotional partners, who you can see here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time on In The Loop Wollongong. Bye. <laughs> For what I believe is the piece de resistance, I can't even say it, the piece de resistance, the piece de resistance, the bloody good steak that's sitting on the table, how about that? That sounds good, yeah. yeah.